one more thing i would like to show regarding the screen color mode is suppose if you have created any logo or something and it is with the background of uh, say maybe with a black color or something so as i've just uh, created one logo in maybe photoshop or something and you can see here the it this is my logo so i'm named it as my logo and if you see here it is black in color so what we're gonna do is we will import this into our timeline and suppose i want this logo to be placed over here so what i'll do is i will drag here and so now if you can see this is in jpg format which does not supports any transparency so just i want this layer to be instead of cropping this i can just go here and make it to screen so now if you notice this has come to screen and if i want this to be placed maybe I scale down a bit as it is a logo and i would like to position it here so if you see this this was our original with black color with the background and this is what we have created by removing it removing it the by removing the black color and placing it on the top right corner of our video footage and if you can see as logo needs to be a slight transparent so it is that also so yeah this screen mode is a very important tool or rather a very important blending mode and is very useful let us now come to the next blending mode which is color dodge so what is color dodge color dodge looks at the color information in each channel and it brightens the base color to reflect the blend color by decreasing contrast between the two blending with black produces no change so now i would like to switch on my swans footage enable and i would make this first to normal and i would delete this as i do not want this motion graphics footage so let us make this to color dodge so if you see it has enhanced the maybe the contrast and of the white area from the channel information and it is creating a blend of two if you can notice this 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 was the water area which is creating a smooth blend rather than this enhanced one so yeah this was our color dodge let us come to the next one which is linear dodge add linear dodge add looks at the color information in each channel and brightens the base color to reflect the blend color by increasing the brightness so if you see color dodge used to decrease the contrast between the two blending images but linear dodge add it increases the brightness between the two channels and again blending with black produces no change let us check let's see linear dodge add so it has brightened the base color it has brightened the base color and uh, the contrast is slightly affected this can again be used according to your requirement let's come to the next blending mode which is light in color so what does light in color do light in color compares the total of all channel values for the blend and base color and it displays the higher value color Lighten color does not produce a third color which can result from the lighten blend because it chooses the highest channel values from the base and blend color to create the result color let us check that i would say lighten color so yeah it is not enhancing the brightness or it is not create uh, affecting the contrast as well neither it is creating a a third maybe a third effect or a third color value but it is creating a blend between both these 
and it is choosing the highest color value in order to create this result between the blend and the base layer uh, so this was a latin color the next is overlay let us check with overlay overlay multiplies or screens the colors depending on the base color patterns or colors overlaying the existing pixels while preserving the highlights and shadows of the base color the base color is not replaced but mixed with the blend color to reflect the lightness or darkness of the original color 